An iconic wood type museum in Two Rivers is on the move. Jim Moran joins us now live with more. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Getting excited for the move? Well, yeah. Yeah. It, you know, I think uh, it's one of those things where if I was smarter, I'd be more worried than I am. But um, <laughs> we're, we'll be okay. It's just a lot of stuff to pack up and move out and uh, in the 14 years that the museum has been open we've acquired a lot of stuff so so there's more to move out than there was to move in yeah and um, I know we don't know an exact location where the museum is going to be moving <coughs> to yet but we do know that there's a, a kind of a farewell party going on there today why don't you talk a little bit about what the museum represents and what people can experience today at that celebration Sure. You know, one of the things that we tell people when we're giving them a tour is that printing history is American history, so that while you take people through and you can show them the type and you can show them the presses uh, and the processes that Hamilton used to cut the type, we also like to show off a lot of the things that have historically been printed over time because it was the way uh, America advertised and communicated. So. One of the things that I've got um, both next to me and behind me are posters that were printed in the letterpress manner. And so you can see sort of historically on the wall the way concerts were advertised for. And you know, you know that as soon as you see Led Zeppelin, that puts it in a specific time frame. Uh, when you see Howlin' Wolf or, or maybe James Brown, that puts it in maybe a similar time frame. But you know, you kind of look through America in the 60s, 70s, and in the case of this poster, all the way up to 97. So that you really get to see uh, a lot of the way, you know, we tried to promote through letterpress and type. Um, so within the museum's collection, one of the great things that we like to show off are the blocks that were used specifically for that. So right here you've got a portion of an old circus poster, but while we've got the sort of composite print here, you get to see that the method means that you have to print this color first, this color second, and that color third um, as the only way to sort of make this thing work. So it, it was a slow process, but it was a, it was a great way to, uh, to print. Mm -hmm. But I in a sense, what happens is day one, you lock up the yellow and run it through your press. Day two, you lock up the red run that through the press, and day three, you put the blue on, and then you finally complete the piece. So that it, it was, you know, labor intensive, it was time intensive, but the results in a lot of cases are really stunning. The artwork that those people were doing simply to make um, what amounted to disposable fair and circus pieces mm -hmm. was still most impressive. Yeah, a lot, a lot of neat things to learn and see. Hey, Jim, thank you for joining us. We wish you the best of luck on the move, and we look forward to hearing uh, where the museum will be newly located. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it, and I think we'll be just fine. All right, Jim, take care. Happy New Year. Same to you.